first one is so um, the development of collaborations and two-way partnerships ge generally between our universities and Korean universities um, and not just in the minerals and resources areas but other areas where we would have, um, have strengths uh, particularly I think in the environmental areas um, sustainability, we're a very strong state in agriculture for instance in Western Australia uh, um, the rainfall has fallen over the last 30 or 40 years how we sustain agriculture with a falling rainfall and so on they're the sorts of research issues that we look at and very important to the producers in agriculture so agriculture is one area that I think we can we can exchange in our Minister for Agri Agriculture but I think if we um, look at the relationship between Korea and Australia there are things that we can do together and are, are, are doing together um, this year is the 50th year, 50th anniversary of the diplomatic relationship between Korea and Australia. Um, of course, we, um, we have a relationship that goes back to the Korean War, where Australia was the third country to come to support South Korea in that war. And we took the opportunity on Tuesday to visit your war memorial to learn more about that, um, that relationship, and I think a very important one. Um, we're in the same time zone, we're both um, democracies and um, we have a, a great deal in common because of our trading relationships. I think the sorts of things we've spoken about in terms of um, ex student exchange, exchange of academics, their teachers exchanging as well um, and getting to understand each other more, um, those, those things help. I think your students are very hard working students from what I've seen. So I, our students and your students need to um, understand each other, know more about each other's culture. I'm told that Korean pop culture is very um, popular in Australia. So they get to know each other on that level, then they will get to understand each other as well. So this, I think one of the words that we've heard on a number of occasions in our discussions has been the word creativity. And um, I think in terms of being creative to solve problems, our students can work on that together and as they move into their employment, um, they can continue to do that as well.